Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. This video is a power plant study guide to help you pass your final test that you will have so that you can get your AMP and start working in the aviation industry. I'm right now about to do engine instrument systems. It has 54 questions. I'm about to have my assistant read for me. This is so I don't have to read. Engine instrument systems, 54 questions. If you guys feel that I'm going too fast, you guys can always pause. If you guys feel that I'm going too slow, you guys can always fast forward. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. These videos are hard to make. Uh, doing that, a like would be appreciated. Thank you so much. Um, with that said, let's begin. Power plant. Question 1 of 54. An indication of unregulated power changes that result in continual drift of manifold pressure indication on a turbosupercharged aircraft engine is known as Not selected, bootstrapping Selected, EXPL Bootstrapping is a transient increase in engine power that causes the turbocharger to speed up, which in turn causes the engine to produce more power Bootstrapping is indicated by a continual drift in the manifold pressure indication. Reference. 1.4 CFR 65.81. Question 2 of 54. A common type of electrically operated oil temperature gauge utilizes. Not selected. Either a Wheatstone bridge or ratiometer circuit. Selected. EXPL. The most generally used electrical oil temperature gauges for aircraft engines uses either a Wheatstone bridge or a ratiometer circuit. A temperature probe consisting of a coil of thin wire encased in a stainless steel housing, senses the temperature of the oil. The resistance of the wire changes as the temperature changes. This change of resistance is indicated on the instrument as a change in temperature. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. Question 3 of 54. Instruments that provide readings of low or negative pressure, such as manifold pressure gauges, are usually what type? Not selected, diaphragm or bellows. Selected, EXPL. Because of their sensitivity, instruments which measure low or negative pressures are normally of the diaphragm or bellows type. Reference, AMTSYS Chapter 10. Power Question 4 of 54. Which of the following instrument discrepancies require replacement of the instrument? 1. Red line missing from glass. 2. Glass cracked. 3. Case paint chipped. 4. Will not zero out. 5. Pointer loose on shaft. 6. Mounting screw loose. 7. Leaking at line B nut. 8. Fogged. Not selected. 2, 4, 5, 8. Selected. EXPL. 1. A red line missing from the instrument glass will not require replacement of the instrument. 2. A cracked glass will require instrument replacement. 3. Case paint chipped will not require instrument replacement. 4. If the instrument will not zero out, it will have to be replaced. 5. A pointer loose on the shaft will require instrument replacement. 6. Loose mounting screws will not require instrument replacement. 7. A leaking B-nut will not require instrument replacement. 8. If the instrument is fogged, there is probably a vent problem and the instrument will have to be replaced. Reference. AMTSYS Chapter 10. OK. Power Question 5 of 54. Basically, the indicator of a tachometer system is responsive to change in. Not selected, frequency. Selected, EXPL. This question refers to the three-phase AC tachometer generator and synchronous motor system. An AC tachometer generator produces a voltage whose frequency is proportional to the engine speed. The variable frequency alternating current produced by the tachometer generator drives a synchronous motor inside the instrument case. The pointer of a magnetic drag tachometer is driven by the synchronous motor. 
It moves across the indicator dial to indicate the speed of the generator rotor. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. Power. Question 6 of 54. On a twin engine aircraft with fuel injected reciprocating engines, one fuel flow indicator reads considerably higher than the other in all engine operating configurations. What is the probable cause of this indication? Not selected. One or more fuel nozzles are clogged. Selected. EXPL. The fuel flow meter indicator used in a continuous flow fuel injection system is a pressure gauge that reads the pressure drop across the injector nozzles. A clogged nozzle will cause an increase in flow indication, even though the actual flow has decreased. Reference. AMTP Chapter 4. O. Power Plant. Question 7 of 54. Engine pressure ratio is the total pressure ratio between the not selected front of the compressor and the rear of the turbine selected expl engine pressure ratio epr is the ratio of the turbine discharge total pressure measured at the aft end of the turbine to the compressor inlet total pressure measured at the front end of the compressor total pressure is the pressure a column of moving air has when it is stopped reference amtp chapter 16 Question 8 of 54. Which of the following is a primary engine instrument? Not selected. Tachometer. Selected. EXP. If we consider the instruments required by the FAA for certificated aircraft as primary engine instruments, the tachometer is the only one of these instruments that is a primary engine instrument. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. Question 9 of 54. What instrument indicates the thrust of a gas turbine engine? Not selected. Engine pressure ratio indicator. Selected. EXPL. In an axial flow gas turbine engine, the engine pressure ratio EPR varies directly with the thrust the engine is producing. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. Question 10 of 54. In what units are turbine engine tachometers calibrated? Not selected. Percent of engine RPM. Selected. EXPL. Gas turbine engine tachometers are calibrated in percent RPM of the compressor. It is much more important that the pilot know whether or not he is operating the engine at its peak speed or an overspeed condition than it is for him to know specific RPMs. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. O. Power. Question 11 of 54. A red triangle, dot, or diamond mark on an engine instrument face or glass indicates. Not selected. The maximum limit for high transients such as starting. Selected. EXPL. A red triangle, dot, or diamond mark on an engine instrument face or glass, indicates the maximum limit for high transients such as starting. Reference. AC 20 to 88A. Power. Question 12 of 54. One power plant instrument range markings show whether the current state of power plant operation is normal, acceptable for a limited time, or unauthorized. Two power plant instrument range markings are based on installed engine operating limits which may not exceed, but are not necessarily equal to those limits shown on the engine type certificate data sheet. Regarding the above statements, not selected, both number 1 and number 2 are true. Selected, EXPL. Statement 1 is true. Power plant instrument range markings show whether the current state of power plant operation is normal, green arc acceptable for a limited time, yellow arc, or unauthorized red line. Statement 2 is also true. Power plant range markings are based on the installed engine operating limits which are found in the aircraft type certificate data sheets. These limits may not exceed, but are not necessarily the same as those shown in the engine type certificate data sheets. Reference. 
AMTP Chapter 16 Question 13 of 54 The engine pressure ratio EPR indicator is a direct indication of Not selected Engine thrust being produced Selected EXPL In an axial flow gas turbine engine the engine pressure ratio EPR varies directly with the thrust the engine is producing. Reference AMTP Chapter 16 Question 14 of 54 A complete break in the line between the manifold pressure gauge and the induction system will be indicated by the gauge registering. Not selected, prevailing atmospheric pressure. Selected, EXPL If the break is complete, the engine will have no effect on the instrument, and the manifold pressure gauge will indicate the prevailing atmospheric pressure at all engine speeds. Reference AMTP Chapter 16 Question 15 of 54 1. Generally, when a turbine engine indicates high EGT for a particular EPR, when there is no significant damage, it means that the engine is out of trim. 2. Some turbine-powered aircraft use RPM as the primary indicator of thrust produced, others use EPR as the primary indicator. Regarding the above statements, Not selected, both number 1 and number 2 are true. Selected, EXPL. Statement 1 is true. If the EGT is high for a particular EPR when there is no significant damage, the engine is out of trim and the fuel control should be adjusted. Statement 2 is also true. Turbine engines with centrifugal compressors use RPM as a primary indicator of thrust while axial flow engines use EPR as a primary thrust indicator. Reference AMTP Chapter 15 Question 16 of 54. The EGT gauge used with reciprocating engines is primarily used to furnish temperature readings in order to Not selected, obtain the best mixture setting for fuel efficiency. Selected, EXPL. The exhaust gas temperature indicating system on a reciprocating engine is used primarily to obtain the best fuel-air mixture setting for fuel efficiency. After the airplane is trimmed for cruise flight, the mixture is leaned until the EGT peaks. Then it is enriched until the EGT drops a specified amount. This indication lets the pilot knows he is operating with a mixture that is slightly on the rich side of the most efficient mixture for this power setting. Reference AMTP Chapter 4 o Question 17 of 54 the exhaust gas temperature EGT indicator on a gas turbine engine provides a relative indication of the not selected turbine inlet temperature selected EXPL the temperature of the gases entering the turbine is very difficult to measure because of this exhaust gas temperature which is easy to measure is used to give an indication of the turbine inlet temperature Next, question 18 of 54. The purpose of an exhaust gas analyzer is to indicate the not selected, fuel-air ratio being burned in the cylinders. Selected, EXPL. The exhaust gas analyzer is used to indicate the fuel-air ratio being burned inside the cylinders. The modern EGT system measures the temperature of the exhaust gases as they leave the cylinders. This gives an indirect, or relative, indication of the mixture being burned. Reference AMTP Chapter 16 Question 19 of 54 What unit in a tachometer system sends information to the indicator? Not selected, the three-phase AC generator. Select EXPL. The tachometer system mentioned in this question uses a three-phase AC generator mounted on the engine to drive a synchronous motor inside the tachometer indicator. Reference. AMTSYS Chapter 10. Power. Question 20 of 54. 
What basic meter is used to indicate cylinder head temperature in most aircraft? Not selected. Galvanometer. Selected. EXPL. We normally associate thermocouples with the measurement of cylinder head temperature. But this question asks for the basic meter used to indicate cylinder head temperature. A galvanometer is the same as a D'Arsonville current measuring instrument. This is the basic meter used to indicate cylinder head temperature. The thermocouple is the device that generates a voltage proportional to the temperature of the cylinder head. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. Power. Question 21 of 54. The principal fault in the pressure type fuel flowmeter indicating system, installed on a horizontally opposed continuous flow fuel injected aircraft reciprocating engine, is that a plugged fuel injection nozzle will cause a not selected, higher than normal fuel flow indication. Selected. EXPL. The fuel flow meter used with a continuous flow fuel injection system installed on a horizontally opposed engine is a pressure gauge that measures the pressure drop across the injector nozzles. If one of the nozzles should become plugged, the pressure drop across it would increase and, even though the actual flow has decreased, the flow meter indicates a higher than normal flow. Reference. AMTP Chapter 4. Question 22 of 54. What would be the possible cause if a gas turbine engine has high exhaust gas temperature, high fuel flow, and low RPM at all engine power settings? Not selected. Turbine damage or loss of turbine efficiency. Selected. EXPL. A damaged or dirty turbine can cause the engine to have a high exhaust gas temperature, a high fuel flow and a low RPM at all power settings. Reference. AMTP. Power. Question 23 of 54. Where are the hot and cold junctions located in an engine cylinder temperature indicating system? Not selected. The hot junction is located at the cylinder and the cold junction is located at the instrument. Selected. EXPL. A thermocouple, such as is used in a cylinder head temperature system, is an electrical generator made of two dissimilar metal wires connected together to form a loop. The two points at which the wires touch are called junctions. The voltage produced by a thermocouple is determined by the temperature difference between the two junctions. The hot or measuring junction is located at the cylinder head. It may be embedded in a gasket under the spark plug or it may be in a bayonet held tight against the cylinder head by a spring. The cold junction is in the case of the instrument. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. Power. Question 24 of 54. Which statement is true regarding a thermocouple type cylinder head temperature measuring system? Not selected, the voltage output of a thermocouple system is determined by the temperature difference between the two ends of the thermocouple. Selected. EXPL. The voltage output of a thermocouple is determined by the difference in the temperature of the hot measuring junction at the cylinder head and the cold reference junction that is inside the instrument case. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. Power. Question 25 of 54. Thermocouple leads. Not selected, are designed for a specific installation and may not be altered. Selected. EXPL. Thermocouple leads must have a specific resistance for a given installation, and therefore they should not be altered. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. Question 26 of 54. The thermocouple leads used to measure cylinder temperature on an aircraft reciprocating engine.
not selected, are connected to the electrical wiring on one end and the cylinder on the other end. Selected. EXPL. The thermocouple leads used to measure cylinder temperature on a reciprocating engine connect to the electrical wiring on one end and the cylinder on the other end. Reference. FAA H8083-32. Power. Question 27 of 54. The fuel flow indication system used with many fuel injected opposed engine airplanes utilizes a measure of Not selected, fuel pressure. Selected. EXPL. The fuel flow indicating system used in the continuous flow fuel injection system, installed on horizontally opposed engines, is actually a pressure gauge that reads the pressure drop across the injector nozzles. The pressure drop across the nozzles is a function of the volume of fuel flowing through them. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. Question 28 of 54. Engine oil temperature gauges indicate the temperature of the oil. Not selected, entering the engine. Selected, EXPL. The temperature indicated on the oil temperature gauge is the temperature of the oil as it enters the engine. Oil inlet temperature gives an indication of the efficiency of the oil cooling system. It lets the pilot know whether or not the oil entering the engine is too hot for adequate heat removal. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. Question 29 of 54. Instruments that measure relatively high fluid pressures, such as oil pressure gauges, are usually what type? Not selected. Borden tube. Selected. EXPL. Borden tube instruments are normally used to measure such pressures as engine oil pressure and hydraulic system pressure. Reference. AMTSYS Chapter 10. Question 30 of 54. The fuel flow indicator rotor and needle for a motor impeller and turbine indicating system is driven by. Not selected. An electrical signal. Selected. EXPL. The indicator rotor and needle of a mass flow fuel flowmeter are driven from the transmitter by an electrical signal. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. Power Plant Amp Quiz. Question 31 of 54. In addition to fuel quantity, a computerized fuel system, CFS, with a totalizer indicator provides indication of how many of the following. 1. Fuel flow rate. 2. Fuel used since reset or initial startup. 3. Fuel time remaining at current power setting. 4. Fuel temperature. Not selected. 3. Selected. EXPF. The computerized fuel system, CFS, provides the pilot with fuel flow information in pounds per hour or gallons per hour, gallons or pounds remaining, time remaining for flight at the current power setting, and gallons used from the initial engine startup. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. Power Question 32 of 54. Why do helicopters require a minimum of two synchronous tachometer systems? Not selected, one indicates engine RPM and the other main rotor RPM. Selected. EXPL. Helicopters use a dual tachometer. One tachometer shows the speed of the engine and the other shows the speed of the main rotor. The ratio between the tachometer generator drive for the engine and that for the main rotor is such that when the clutch for the main rotor is fully engaged, the needles for the two tachometers are married one is directly on top of the other. When the needles are split, the main rotor clutch is not fully engaged. Reference. AMTSYS. Question 33 of 54. In a turbine engine, 
Where is the turbine discharge pressure indicator sensor located? Not selected. Immediately aft of the last turbine stage. Selected. EXPL. A turbine discharge pressure indicator sensor is located immediately aft of the last turbine stage. The turbine discharge pressure is used with the compressor inlet pressure to find the engine pressure ratio, the EPR. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. Pop. Question 34 of 54. The fuel flow indication data sent from motor-driven impeller and turbine, and motorless type fuel flow transmitters is a measure of Not selected, fuel mass flow Selected, EXPL The fuel flow indication data sent from a motor-driven impeller and turbine, and a motorless fuel flow transmitter are measures of mass fuel flow These fuel flowmeters take into consideration both the volume and density of the fuel Reference. AMTP Chapter 12. Pow. Question 35 of 54. What instrument on a gas turbine engine should be monitored to minimize the possibility of a hot start? Not selected. Turbine inlet temperature. Selected. EXPL. Turbine inlet temperature, TIT, or exhaust gas temperature, EGT, of a gas turbine engine is monitored to determine whether the start is normal or if it is a hot start. Reference. AMTP Chapter 15. OK. Question 36 of 54. The RPM indication of a synchronous AC motor tachometer is governed by the generator. Not selected. Frequency. Selected. EXPL. The RPM indication of a synchronous AC tachometer is governed by the generator frequency. The tachometer generator used in this type of system is a permanent magnet generator whose output frequency is determined by the speed it is turned. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. Question 37 of 54. Engine pressure ratio is determined by Not selected. Dividing turbine outlet total pressure by engine inlet total pressure. Selected. EXPL. Engine pressure ratio, EPR, is the ratio of the turbine discharge pressure to the compressor inlet pressure. It is used as a measure of the thrust produced by an axial flow turbine engine. A ratio is found by dividing one term by the other. In this instance, the turbine outlet total pressure is divided by the engine inlet, compressor inlet total pressure. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. Power Plant. Question 38 of 54. Which statement is correct concerning a thermocouple type temperature indicating instrument system? Not selected. It requires no external power source. Selected. EXPL. A thermocouple type temperature indicating system is self-contained and requires no external power. The voltage generated by a thermocouple is determined by the difference in temperature between the hot measuring junction at the cylinder head and the cold reference junction inside the instrument case. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. Question 39 of 54. What is the primary purpose of the tachometer on an axial compressor turbine engine? Not selected. Monitor engine RPM during starting and to indicate overspeed conditions. Selected. EXPL. The RPM of an axial flow gas turbine engine is not used as an indicator of thrust, but RPM is important during the engine starting procedure and during high power operation to prevent overspeeding the engine. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. Question 40 of 54. The fuel flowmeter used with a continuous fuel injection system installed on an aircraft horizontally opposed reciprocating engines measures the fuel pressure drop across the not selected fuel nozzles. Selected. EXPL. 
The fuel flow meter used with a continuous flow fuel injection system installed on a horizontally opposed engine is a pressure gauge that measures the pressure drop across the injector nozzles. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. Question 41 of 54. On an aircraft turbine engine, operating at a constant power, the application of engine anti-icing will result in not selected, noticeable shift in EPR, selected, EXPL. When an engine is operating at a constant power and anti-ice is selected, a slight rise in EGT indicates the system is operating properly. The EPR and RPM will shift noticeably because of the change in the mass of air delivered to the combustor. Reference. AMTP. Power Plant Amp. Question 42 of 54. Motor-driven impeller and turbine fuel flow transmitters are designed to transmit data. Not selected. Using aircraft electrical system power. Selected. EXPL. The mass flow fuel flow meter using a motor-driven impeller and turbine transmit their data using 115 volt AC electrical power from the aircraft electrical system. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. Question 43 of 54. One engine pressure ratio, EPR, is a ratio of the exhaust gas pressure to the engine inlet air pressure, and indicates the thrust produced. Two engine pressure ratio, EPR, is a ratio of the exhaust gas pressure to the engine inlet air pressure, and indicates volumetric efficiency. Regarding the above statements, not selected, only number one is true. Selected. EXPL. Statement 1 is true. Engine pressure ratio, EPR, is a ratio of the turbine discharge pressure to the engine inlet pressure. It relates to the amount of thrust the engine is producing. Statement 2 is not true. The EPR has nothing to do with indicating the volumetric efficiency of an engine. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. O Power Plant Amp. Question 44 of 54. A Borden tube instrument may be used to indicate 1. Pressure. 2. Temperature. 3. Position. 4. Quantity. Not selected. 1 and 2. Selected. EXPL. A Borden tube measures only pressure. But in a Borden tube temperature measuring instrument, the Borden tube is connected by a sealed capillary tube to a bulb containing methyl chloride. The bulb is placed in the area where the temperature is to be measured. As the temperature changes, the pressure of the methyl chloride changes. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. Power. Question 45 of 54. Which of the following instrument conditions is acceptable and does not require immediate correction? Not selected. Case paint chipped. Selected. EXPL. The only one of these conditions that is acceptable and would not require immediate correction is the chipped case paint. Reference. FAA H808332. Power. Question 46 of 54. A manifold pressure gauge is designed to. not selected, indicate differential pressure between the intake manifold and atmospheric pressure. Selected, not selected, indicate absolute pressure in the intake manifold. Selected, EXPL. A manifold pressure gauge is an absolute pressure gauge used to measure the absolute pressure, the pressure referenced from zero pressure, or a vacuum that exists inside the induction system of a reciprocating engine. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. Power. Question 47 of 54. In regard to using a turbine engine oil analysis program, which of the following is not true? Not selected. 
Generally, an accurate trend forecast may be made after an engine's first oil sample analysis. Selected. EXPL. An oil analysis program is a trend indicating system. A sample of the oil is taken when the engine is new and the parts per million of each of a number of elements is recorded. As subsequent samples are tested on a regular basis, the trend of the growth of the trace elements are recorded. When the growth of any element is far more rapid than it should be, the engine operator is warned of possible impending trouble. Analysis of the first sample is only a starting point and cannot give an accurate forecast alone. Reference AMTP Chapter 11 Question 48 of 54 Turbine engine EGT thermocouples are constructed of Not selected, Cromwell and Alamel Selected, EXPL the thermocouples used to measure EGT or TIT of a turbojet engine are made of Cromwell and Alamel wire. These temperatures are much higher than the cylinder head temperature of a reciprocating engine that uses thermocouples made of iron and constantin or copper and constantin. Reference FAA H8083-32 Question 49 of 54 which unit most accurately indicates fuel consumption of a reciprocating engine? Not selected, fuel flow meter. Selected, EXPL. The fuel flow meter is the most accurate of the choices given here to determine the fuel consumption of a reciprocating engine. The fuel flow meter can be cross-checked with the electronic fuel quantity indicator to determine its accuracy. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. Power Plant. Question 50 of 54. In an aircraft equipped with a pressure drop type fuel flow indicating system, if one of the injector nozzles becomes restricted, this would cause a decrease in fuel flow with. Not selected an increased fuel flow indication on the gauge. Selected. EXPL. If one of the injector nozzles becomes restricted, the pressure drop across it will increase, and the pressure drop type flow indicator will show an increase in fuel flow, but there will be a decrease in the actual fuel flow. Reference. AMTP Chapter 4. Power Plant. Question 51 of 54. If the thermocouple leads were inadvertently crossed at installation, what would the cylinder temperature gauge pointer indicate? Not selected, moves off scale on the zero side of the meter. Selected, EXPL. The cylinder head temperature gauge is a current measuring instrument that measures the current produced in the thermocouple. If the thermocouple leads were inadvertently crossed at installation, the indicator would read backward, which would cause the pointer to peg out on the low side of the scale. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. Power Plant. Question 52 of 54. The indication on a thermocouple type cylinder head temperature indicator is produced by. Not selected a current generated by the temperature difference between dissimilar metal hot and cold junctions. Selected. EXPL. The indication on a thermocouple type cylinder head temperature indicator is produced by a temperature difference between the two junctions, the measuring junction and the reference junction. The temperature difference between these two junctions causes a current to flow through the thermocouple system that is proportional to the temperature difference between the junctions. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16 pa Question 53 of 54 Which of the following types of electric motors are commonly used in electric tachometers? Not selected, synchronous motors Selected, EXPF Electric tachometers use a three-phase permanent magnet generator turned by the engine or helicopter transmission Tachometer generators produce three-phase alternating current whose frequency is determined by the speed the permanent magnet rotor is turned. Inside the instrument case there is a synchronous motor that spins at the same speed as the magnet in the generator. 
A magnetic drag indicating system converts the rotational speed of the synchronous motor into angular deflection of the tachometer pointer. Reference. AMTP Chapter 16. O. Question 54 of 54. A change in engine manifold pressure has a direct effect on the not selected mean effective cylinder pressure. Selected. EXPL. The mean effective pressure inside the cylinder of a reciprocating engine is the average pressure in the cylinder during the power stroke. This average pressure is affected by both the manifold pressure, the pressure of the air as it enters the cylinder, and the compression ratio of the engine.